All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. There is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, this guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that but it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possessed that set of skills. If I had the ability to fix the target as well as he does. When he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short, you got a pretty good jab. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong. Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of New York. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, and they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Just misses with a left hook there. Misses with the right hand. Big kick. Tags him with the left hand. Ooh, what a punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Two minutes have gone by here, round one. Nice body kick. Oh, massive head kick there will 
see if he can finish. He is all about that left kick to the body. I want that takedown now. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Punch coming, it's blocked. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, big kick lands flush. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Twenty seconds left. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Big body kick lands. Five minutes in the books. That was in a bad run. That was in a bad run. Could have gone either way. Yeah. You're telegraphing your kicks. All right? You can see him coming a mile away. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that check. Nice head kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Real nice body kick lands. Head kick. Time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. He's all huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really go his whole entire body into those strikes. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Sneaky head kick. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Oh, collar tie. Slipped that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of him. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Huge strike lands there, 
somehow his opponent stayed up. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. So you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. And that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximized those 60 seconds on the stick. This is what he's oh, oh, the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Goes back to that left kick once again. Hook shot lands. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Nice kick. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Hands up, hands up. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Got him whip his hip into that kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Just over three minutes to go. Nice one two there. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big punch from the clinch. together. Checks the leg kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. 15 seconds. Oh, big head kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to entertaining scrap so far. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, so next round underway here. And you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp. And it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Just unable to quite find that range. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. 
beautiful leg kick thrown. Straight punch lands. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Let's go. Set up that just over three minutes to go. Beautiful kick. What a punch. Liver kick. Oh, that big knee. knee. That knee hurt him. Oh, straight right. Able to check that kick as well. Just misses with the right. He's hurt really bad. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, he got a bell! Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Right hand on point. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. The posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Nice. That elbow got to the target very quick in the clinch. He's hurt bad. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body. He throws them low, but when he goes up top, He's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. You ready? You ready? It is the fifth and final round. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. You got to check these low leg kicks. Huge block there. Oh, spinning back fist. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Big leg kick lands. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Big elbow lands on the side of the ball. To his feet, good sign for him there. Under three minutes to decide this one. Ooh, big shot land. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick 
that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy. Well, really nice work to keep Busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Oh, and he's back up again. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Muay Thai plump. Whoa! He's out! He's done, he's done! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Ian Levine's called to stop for this contest at three minutes, 53 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party. Tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.